Now, I think Brooke got y'all ready when he closed last week's show. And here it is, the highlight of the year for me, Southern Hunt. Good, great alive, do we have a good time? We got a good show lined up for y'all. And we're gonna finish it up with a little deer hunting toward the end. All right, here we are at the Wally World. Hey, right, Jamie working hard as usual. This son of a gun, let's see where he's at. I can't even stay up with him, he's moving so fast. But, we got his lunch put in there. That's right. Y'all see that? We got all of his lunch. Wessington Springs. Wessington Springs Foothills. is where we headed, y'all. Uh, Foothills Lodge. Mr. Fred was telling me it just started. Somebody missed a foot. And he made the reply, I don't even know if I could hit my hat if I throwed it on the ground. The weather is awesome, and we're ready to start feather hunting. That's a good sign, one shot. We need to give him a minute to pick it up. Yeah. Rooster! <laughs> and he's still a rooster. Yeah. <laughs> That's not the one for you to use, bro. <laughs> rooster! They were the feather today, and the feather has been knocked down, I think. I'm not even sure. I mean, the, the feather, he had, took, he had took a little bit of lead, I guess. And, and Doc comes up, I'm trying to get a dog to come in. And Doc comes up and y'all check him out. He pounces on this feather. How you doing? <laughs> nice to see you. <laughs> there he is. Sir, get him, Doc. Good shot. I, did, I didn't know I was getting on a blocking truck. <laughs> yeah, I'll do better. You're good. I'll do better. First drive was a success, second drive wasn't as much, but we'll get started here in a minute. Going, man. That looks shot, favorite one. Man, I like that. I know it got, got ones you like. <laughs> yeah, sure. So much fun to get to hunt with these guys that's hunted for years. You can learn so much from them. Uh, I guess they've been pheasant hunting. I'd be scared to say how many years. All right, it's thick, boys. Better go slow. Rooster! Now right, hold up. Rooster! Rooster! Here! Rooster! Good shot. Anybody that's gonna block, just stay up here and we'll just slide down. All the walkers, we'll just hop on or in. All right, I've made it back to the Suburban, y'all. Yeah, well, we got I'm safe. <laughs> here you go. Here you go. Rooster! Good shot, Doc! Right there! I don't think he stands. Y'all shoot him again. <laughs> now, we don't just have fun in the field, y'all. This place is equipped with three or four grills and smokers and this, that, and other. And uh, I've done a good bit of the cooking. I mean, Jamie done a little. I mean, then these rascals can just straight out cook. You got something different every night, and I mean, it ain't no throw together recipe. These dudes know. Everybody in the camp pitches in together. Eating is not a problem. We don't go out and eat not one night, and they ain't one night that we don't have a gourmet meal. What do you think, Mr. Fred? I think it's quite a show. There you go, look at that. <laughs> we can build cloud one. Yep. We made it to South Dakota. <laughs> yes, sir. Uh oh, somebody else probably shot that cow, but it looked like I got it. So I did forget my gun, but Mr. Fred's taking care of me. Now that's why you, that's why you get the good guide right there. That's why you always want to ride with a good guy. Right, 
Rooster! Rooster! Good job, man. Put it, you want to turn him? You want to put him in here? You want to hold him? Okay. Rooster! We picked up several on them couple of walks. Yeah. Is what he walked those two? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Oh, uh, there was every one time I remember there. I don't know. They was probably ten or fifteen feathers. Of course, I was wearing a GoPro, so it may not be the best footage in the world. But I mean, they were literally roosters going everywhere. When that when them walkers get close to that end, I mean, there is literally roosters going everywhere. Roosters getting up everywhere. All right, now South Dakota weather. I mean, I'm telling you, it'll really remind you of, of South Mississippi weather. You can be freezing, snowing, warm and sunny. The weather changes are major. We kill birds in every weather change. We killed them when the sun was shining. We killed them when it was raining. Uh, we just shot feathers. Ten. Twenty twenty one. Bed hunt. Whew. Need to catch my breath a minute. Foothills Lodge. South Dakota. Foothills Lodge, Westington Spring, South Dakota. Y'all give them a call. Guess it's a hunt of a lifetime, I'm just telling you. If you never got to go feathers hunting or if you you win and just had never really killed any, give my buddies Fred and Jake a call. If they've got an opening, you certainly don't want to miss it. Video Joe has got us a, uh, got us another deer hunt lined up with him. So, we got Brooke behind the wheel over here as usual. <laughs> I'm sitting here running my mouth as usual. What do you think, Brooke? Oh man, we're just gonna gas up this ride so we can get on the road. Yeah, I think we got enough of a weapon back here. I figured, in here. I figured if I could get out filming, I would not use my card. <laughs> so Brooke and the dude, I gotta film some of this now. Yeah, buddy. <laughs> and then we ain't got a lot of footage of the bow season. I mean, it just was slow. I mean, these years like that. Last year was an epic year. Uh, I killed a, I killed a nice deer. Brooke passed on a good deer. Couldn't get a shot on a deer. Serious bow hunters right here. Okay, let me see if I can get it. I don't even have my sunglasses. Matthew, get through. Wow. Look, 40, right? <laughs> <laughs> you took 40? Give him a fighting <laughs> chance. <laughs> Dang! I don't huh? know. Did you shoot? Did, huh? you, did you hit it? I don't know. I can't see that far. <laughs> I might have did. <laughs> they bow hunting. I'm breaking out the big gun. <laughs> I ain't playing. <laughs> Something's gonna die. <laughs> All right, got a bow kill in Arkansas this year. All right, now I struck out during bow season and just didn't have nothing come in range. So I told Brooke, I said, look, I'm taking my bow and my rifle. 
But I'd way rather shoot a deer with my bow, especially a good buck, in close. I don't want to shoot a deer real in close with my, with my rifle, you know. So I took my bow. It's a little aggravating to take both of them in, but it's legal in the state of Arkansas. So I had my bow there just in case one come in close enough. We got through hunting and when we started back to the house, Joe got the call that Trina done knocked a big buck down. Come on in here, pick that head up. Let's look at him. Oh my goodness. Boom, shaka -laka, Hello. Shaka -haka. Oh yeah. My goodness. I wouldn't be upset at that. I've seen All right, Trina, tell us a little bit about it. Let's see. Uh, I did a little Christmas shopping this afternoon, so <laughs> did not even come down here until like four. I sat down at 4.34, and I shot about 5.25, probably. The only deer I saw, other than, I saw two fox that ran around forever. But uh, he came out. I watched him for a while in the tall weeds. Got really nervous because I couldn't really tell, and I was trying to figure out, since this was my first solo hunt, if I was allowed to shoot or not. Yeah. Did not want to mess up. <laughs> and he finally walked out to the bean field. And so I waited for dad's approval. I kept texting him, do I shoot, do I shoot? And he finally gave me permission, so I shot. Yeah. Right there. Yeah. So in Arkansas, we can just use our app. So we're gonna check it before we move it. We have to check it in before we move it. So we're gonna get that taken care of. Checked in, ready to move. So we can load her up. Good job, Trina. I mean, every day, he come in like three days in a row, y'all. And every night I'd show uh, Brooke and Joe my footage and they'd say, you better shoot that deer. He's going to get killed right next door. The people that hunt next door are going to shoot this deer. And I probably should have. Cause I ain't no trophy hunter. I ain't gotta have one seven years old to shoot. But the last time he come through, I just couldn't make myself do it. All right, we're in Arkansas, and this is supposed to be the prime time to be up here. Joe has got us all fired up. We're ready to get after it. I'm in a tight spot right here where I, I can't see it all the line. Joe says I stare across through here. So I kind of, I start out hunting on the ground. Joe's got a spot picked out. He said, this is where you need to be. Bucks travel through here, and... Sure enough, a buck did travel through. The only problem was it was a spike. After a couple days, I made a move. I wasn't seeing a whole lot in that one spot. Uh, got in a ladder stand and had a small buck chase a doe that morning. Joe was hunting another spot and he saw a good buck, but it was real thick and he couldn't get a shot. Well, it just so happened Joe had to go to work and he said, Brooke, you need to go get on that stand where I saw the big buck. So sure enough, I went that evening and I uh, didn't see a deer. I just kept telling Brooke, Brooke, you've got to go back to the stand. I have, I have been seeing deer. I know they're there. Um, you know, we've got a good wind coming up this last day. And, um, you know, just tell him he needs to go there. I've learned one thing in all this hunting that we've done that you don't ever guide the guide. So I listen to Joe. Last effort. This is true. This is a really awesome place right here. A lot of money is one. That kills a really big deer. So I have a lot of show up this morning. 
and the wind is blowing 90 miles an hour. It's just, it's just something crazy. The bucks walk that ridge. So I've been paying attention and watching that ridge and hadn't seen anything. Well, it's getting about time to go and I pick up my Hawk binoculars and I'm just doing a quick scan, you know, to see if I can see anything before I get down. And sure enough, I catch a glimpse of fur. Start studying it and that's a deer laying there. I guess this deer has been bedded up the whole time because I never saw anything come in. So I watched this deer for 45 minutes and finally see some antlers and I get a good look at them. And uh, I'm, you know, the deer gotta be a certain size up here. So I'm studying it real hard. And uh, finally I see the sun hits it just right and I can, I can get a glimpse of his beam and see that this is gonna be a shooter buck. Well, the only problem is I can't get this deer to stand up. I start grunting and calling at him, trying to get him to stand up. And I don't wanna call real loud and spook him because I don't want him to, you know, he can just dip off the ridge and he's gone. We were supposed to get down at 9.30 and uh, it's 10 o'clock now. I've been sitting here watching this deer trying to get him to stand up. Well, all of a sudden I hear a four-wheeler coming and you know, Stubbs is coming to check on me, I'm sure. So I really didn't have a choice. I had to take a shot. It's now or never. Exactly how good he is, but we're fishing to go find out. The hook has got one shot. I am hitting him. And I finally got to see one of his beams and see how long it was. And I, I started grunting at him, trying to get him up. He never did get up. So I had to take the shot. He's laying that deep roll down now. He getting it done. I finally put a tag on an Arkansas bug right here. On the last one. Of the last day. <laughs> Finally shot one. And he was here when you got here. I guess he was here. I never saw him. How far is he? He's right over there on that ridge. <laughs> what are you going to do? Let's go see what we got. You ready? Yeah. <laughs> Here we go. There goes this stallion brook in there. Look at some mouth. Look at some mouth. That is one more dandy, boys. That's a dandy right there. That's a dandy. That is a dandy. Look at that. Got that beam broke there. He, he had another good one. And, uh, finally, he turned his head and I saw his beam and could tell that, you know, he's going to meet the minimum. And uh, got the camera ready and put a shot on him and he didn't go far. He, thank goodness he stayed on top of this ridge and didn't go down in the gully. But, uh, Man, what a way to start the season for me. 2021, real south hunting. And I don't know what the rest of the season has, but we got it. we're off to a good start for sure. All right, folks, we got him loaded. Now we're gonna try to get down this ginormous hill. Oh, so much work, but it's so worth it. But that dang brook. Hey, come dang, on Brooke, there. come on in there and i tell y'all what, I'm going to get them somewhere else. I don't know. Big 10 is down. Big 10 is down. Woo. We headed to town. Oh, I'm full of it, ain't I? I'm telling you. I'm right telling you. Around. 
Yeah, just make rhymes anytime. I can tell y'all, real south and went all the way from South Dakota, all the way back down to Arkansas. Had some awesome hunts both places. Barrel of fun. Can't thank everybody enough. Fred, Jake, Brother Joe, Video Joe for helping us there. Fred and Jake for helping us in South Dakota. Just a heck of a heck of a good season. Got a good start going. Give God the praise, we are rolling on. All right, we stopped by and got Jamie's lunch. And uh, I was famished. Huh? I was famished. Yeah. Brooke, how does this turn when you're videoing? I haven't punched ever flipping thing on. What's that do? Nothing. Why? I'm going to have to shoot. If a spike comes out, no matter what comes out, all right, what would the buck score? What would he it. score? What would he score? This is what you do. When you get ready to take the picture and ask me if you can shoot them, yeah. just don't send the picture and shoot them, and then afterwards I'll say good job. I don't know what it is about me, but it's always got to be the last hunt when I kill one. I don't know what it is about me. I don't kill one, no hunt. <laughs>